from Gakona, Alaska. We are here at the U.S. government's brainwashing facility in the middle of nowhere. It's called HARP, H-A-A-R-P. And if you believe in uh, conspiracy theories and fun stuff like that, this is a cool place to check out. But you also have to make sure you wear protection because you don't want to be brainwashed while you're here. <laughs> so you got to have your foil hats. All right, so the first part of the tour is to go and check out the array. And there are trailers all throughout here and they have one of them open so we can see what they're doing inside. This place is creepy looking, I'll tell you that. It's totally something out of a science fiction movie. Yeah, we need to go inside and listen to one of the lectures. Yeah. Basically, these trailers house the power that powers up these towers when they send signals out into the out to the ionosphere and back. That's basically all we know so far. They've scienced the shit out of it. No kidding. So these hats are drawing a lot of attention. <laughs> we just got interviewed by the local NBC news station, and uh, I guess Monday night at 10 o'clock, we're gonna be on the news. Oh gosh, gotta get that back on for safety. The Air Force bought uh, 5,400 acres here uh, back in January of 1989 uh, to build a over-the-horizon backscatter radar just to look at the Russian horizon during the Cold War. These are the largest um, two-cycle engines that General Motors electric or diesel division has made. So these are 4,000 horsepower two cycle, um, 645 cubic inch cylinders. These are V20, big, big, big machines. Full load average, these machines can draw over 220 gallons per hour. So, you know, we've got three 12,000 gallon fuel tanks outside. When we're doing science experiments, they're typically between 10 and 15 days where the scientists will come up here, um, or not, you know, they can collect their data remotely. But um, in, in a two-week period, uh, we can go through $80,000, no problem, just in fuel. So every other day during those, those periods, whether it's a 10-day or whatever, every other day we have a truck showing up with 9,000 gallons of fuel just to keep us going. Before Harp was uh, built or even started to be built, his name was Bernard Eastland. And Bernard had some ideas, and so, and that's what a lot of engineers and scientists do. If you've got an idea, and boy, it sounds good, first thing you do is get a patent, right? So Bernard got those patents for mind control, weather modification, power beaming, right? So he, he went and got all these patents out there, and nobody read that or cared about that, right? Until this facility was starting to be built. The first story came out in Popular Mechanics, and I think it was in 1992. Um, and they showed, um, whatever, a harp facility blowing up a Volkswagen 200 miles away. So they had all this conspiracy stuff in that early one. So there really wasn't much out there. But as we went through three different build-ups to get to where we are now, it garnered more media attention. It, it just had more attention. So it all went back to Bernard's uh, patents, right? Oh, they're doing mind control, uh, blowing up space shuttles, causing tsunamis, um, so all this stuff. And on our hotlines, we have gotten phone calls like you would not believe. Um, thankfully, the last one I got was uh, a young lady asking if I could help her to win the lottery. So I'm like, hey, well, that's a lot better than shooting down space shuttles, right? So we just uh, heard Marty speak and uh, shared a bunch of useful information about Harp. You can tell he's really trying to dumb down his knowledge to speak to the general public. So now we're going into the planetarium. Wow. University of Alaska in Fairbanks and we uh -huh. go around to a lot of the schools there, community. So it kind of floats around uh, based on a, a request basis. I actually. want one. <laughs> they're, they're pretty fun. They're about $60,000. <laughs> <laughs> like 
being born. It's like a giant vagina. <laughs> well, we're all done for the day. As you might say, we're harped out. So we're gonna head back to the RV. And we gotta go sight in the rifle for the hunting trip, but I think we're gonna take a little break first. Yeah, it's a Saturday, you know? Why not go back to the motorhome and watch a movie? I think we'll probably pick a science fiction movie just for the hell of it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and most importantly, enjoy the ride. <laughs>